Hey folks, just pulled together a quick video demo of the flounder light we just built. If you want the detailed build instructions, you can click the link in the description. As you can see, we found yet another use for our Eberly Stop Bandit. It does a great job of holding the battery. The actual light uh, has three LED chips, all 3500 lumens. The housing is all aluminum that we cut out a rectangle and square tube. And in the back, we cut an extra hole for access. And as you can see, each LED chip is set in an epoxy to keep it waterproof. The actual pole is 3 quarter inch PVC that we connected to conduit housing. Uh, you can see the handle right there, that's just some more PVC. The handle itself actually is adjustable. It just clips onto the pole, so you can slide it up and down depending on how tall you are or how you want to grip it. The conduit housing is where all the electrical connections are made. I actually put three independent switches. Uh, that way I could turn each light on or off and that way I'm not using extra power um, if I don't need the extra lights. You can see it's pretty tight in there. All the wires that you see are connecting the three switches that are on the other side of the conduit housing. Each of these controls an individual LED chip. Here's a quick demo of how they perform. This is an unlit swimming pool and I'm going to turn on one LED you can see that just with one it lights up the entire swimming pool so I'll turn them out again and click it back on um, I think that gives you appreciation for how much light they give off uh, I'm then going to turn on the side lights it's a little bit harder to tell how much light they give off just because the swimming pool is blocking it um, but I think you can see that it, it gives off quite a bit of light good luck out there and uh, let me know if you have your own setup and uh, how I might improve mine thanks